Larks Park's concession is very undersized, and if you've ever gone to a game, it can be quite congested, and, and there's a, a, they're, they're trying to do a lot of things out of a very small building. And so for many years, we've had a group of concerned um, um, uh, residents that, that just truly take an interest in Larks baseball, and Hayes baseball in general, um, as well as Fort Hayes, uh, wanting to do something different with the facility. There's been a lot of ideas of volunteer projects and group projects, and none of them ever seem to get traction. Uh, well, about a year ago, we had a group that, that, that seemed like they were able to get traction. They had some money um, to, to match city money, and, and, and they were, were wanting to do something down there, and we ran into the roadblock of the floodplain. And when you're constructing facilities in a floodplain, it's extremely difficult. And what they wanted to do was demolish the existing facility and rebuild. And now you have to adhere to um, uh, National Flood Protection Act standards and floodplain standards. And it was very difficult. So um, I challenged city staff to sit down with this group and, and let's try to figure out what their goals are, uh, what their expected outcomes are, and, and let's see if we can make this work within the constraints of the, of the floodplain regulations. And so we sat down with park staff and public work staff, planning inspection enforcement staff, and then the, the people who are interested in, in undertaking this project, and were able to come up with a plan of action that accomplished all of the needs of the, the Hayes Baseball Association at Fort Hayes and the city, and, and, and was done in a very economical manner. And so they put together a project. It was, it was approved by the city. Uh, a lot of volunteer effort, uh, a lot of people donating services and labor in kind. Heartland, I know, is donating uh, several pieces of equipment to this to this project. Um, anyway, they're they're nearing completion, and when it's done, as an attendee of either Hayes Basketball or Fort Hayes events, you will see the concessions area much improved, enlarged, better seating there, and and the traffic should move through there a lot better. Uh, very happy with the project. It was a good effort, and it's it's kind of indicative of what happens in Hayes. We have a lot of of, of uh, community first-minded people, and this is a good example of that.